What's up guys? You know, today every other projector is called portable, because it is compact size. However, compact size doesn't make a projector portable yet. The main feature of any portable projector is a built-in battery, or at least power bank support, so you can use it without a main supply. For example, if a Torque Mini projector has a built-in battery, which provides up to 2.5 hours of battery life on a single charge. The projector also supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you can connect your smartphone to it and watch movies or play games while camping. By the way, this is one of the most compact projectors we have tested on our channel Tech Brothers. Ok, let's do a full review of the Fatorik projector in this video. Today we have a compact projector, so it comes in a small box. There is only Fatorque company logo and mini projector on the front. On the back we can read some warnings, as well as projector model number. So it has a full name, Fatorque DO42. Inside the box is the projector itself, a quick start guide and a user manual. There are also two black boxes here. One of them has a power adapter, while the other contains the tripod, HDMI cable, and remote control. You know, I wish the portable projector came with a carrying bag, but overall this box is pretty small, so you can store and carry the projector in it. When it comes to design, the manufacturer calls it the Coke can projector, because the projector is about the same size of a Coke can. Its dimensions are 110 by 70 by 70 mm, the weight is only 400 grams. The body is made of black matte plastic, while the orange lines freshen up the look. There is a lens and some kind of sensor on the front. At first I thought it was an IO receiver, but it is actually an automatic keystone correction sensor. There are USB-A, DC power and HDMI ports on the back. The Fatorque projector has a focus adjustment wheel on the one side and a 3.5mm audio jack with a power button on the other. If we look at the bottom of the projector, we can see the tripod mount. As I said before, a tripod comes in the kit. As for the projector control, you can use touch buttons located on the top, as well as the remote control. By the way, the remote is very simple, but I was very surprised to see touch control panel on a budget projector. I guess that's all about design. The Fatorque projector is very compact, but still has a good build quality. Now let's turn on the projector and look at the operating system. At first glance, the Fatorque projector has a simple multimedia system, because there are no applications here such as YouTube, Netflix, etc. However, there are a few signs that it is an Android system. I will tell you later what the signs are. So on the homepage, we have a DLNA, iOS cast and Android mirror cast to mirror the screen from different devices. We can also use an HDMI connection and a USB drive. I will check out all the connection methods later. But for now, let's look at the settings menu. First, we can connect to a Wi-Fi network. The projector also supports Bluetooth, so you can connect an external speaker or headphones to it. We will also check this a little later. There is only HDMI in the input signal. The display settings include high brightness, auto keystone correction, manual keystone, initial angle correction, screen scaling, and projection mode. By the way, the projector is battery powered now, but I wonder if it will be brighter if you plug in the power adapter. As you can see, the brightness hasn't changed. The other options in the settings menu are as follows Audio, General, and System. So now we can check how the screen mirroring works. I have an iPhone, so I will go to iOS Cast from the home page. Now I need to connect to the same Wi Fi network as my smartphone. Do you remember me telling you that the projector has a few signs that it is running Android? When you enter a password from Wi Fi network, the keyboard is the same as on Android devices, isn't it? After you have connected to Wi Fi, take your smartphone, go to screen mirroring, and select projector. That's it. The Vitoric projector supports 5G Wi Fi 6 network, so the latency is very low. As for Bluetooth connection, you need to go to the settings menu, Bluetooth, enable Bluetooth and search for your Bluetooth device. In my case, it is AirPods. 
and they are connected to the projector. You can use headphones when you watch a movie alone, but the projector also has 3 watts built-in speaker, so you can watch a movie with your friends. You know, the volume and quality of the built-in speaker is very good for a compact projector. I am really surprised. The Fotorica DO42 is a compact DLP projector, so I knew it wouldn't make much noise. The noise level near projector is 43 dB, and it is about only 39 dB at a distance of 1 meter. This is a very quiet projector, so it will not disturb your roommate's sleep at night. Before we get to the projection quality, a few words about the battery. I haven't found any information about the battery capacity of the Fatorg projector, but the manufacturer promises 2.5 hours of battery life on a single charge. If you turn off the high brightness in the settings, it will probably last even longer. You know I saw on the Amazon page that the Fatorg projector supports screen size up to 114 inches at a distance of 3 meters. However, I decided to place it even farther away. 5 meters from the wall, I got a screen of about 300 inches. I don't know why the manufacturer only says 114 inches, but the projector is able to create much larger screen. However, I will be testing it closer to the wall. Right now the screen size is about 80 inches. The native resolution of a Torque projector is 854 by 480 pixels. It is really noticeable, because the picture is pixelated. Nevertheless, it is crisp, and even the text is readable. The brightness of the Fatorg projector is 150 ANSI lumens, but because DLP technology is used, the image looks much brighter than LCD projectors. Overall, watching movies, sports matches, or games is very comfortable.
Future Pro BP10. You know it has similar specifications to the previous models, such as 450 watts motor and the 33 kilopascals section power. After a 30 minute walk, we can see that the Xiaomi Smart Van 8 counted 2.11 kilometers and 27 city 2 steps. This is the new Lexus Electra, which is both incredibly complicated and enormously heavy. This Citadine is 2,41 de long, 1,39 de large, and 1,52 de haut. As for using the projector in a room with light, it is possible, but I would recommend making the environment as dark as possible. So the Fatorg DO42 is a truly portable projector and because it has a built-in battery and compact size. I think it is a great projector to use outside of the home, such as camping, backyard parties, on the road, or just at home, with a projection on the wall or even the ceiling. The Fatorg projector has Wi-Fi support, so you can mirror the screen from your smartphone and Bluetooth support for connecting headphones. You can also connect the TV stick to a projector and watch your favorite shows on Netflix, YouTube and other streaming services. The image quality is very good for such compact projector. In short, I really liked the Torque projector. It is very easy to set up and comfortable to use in all conditions. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!